Okay, tell me, uh, how's your Spanish going? My Spanish? Hola? Wait, okay, <laughs> okay. I don't like it. Something I've noticed though is your beard grows really fast. It's like one week you're clean shaven, and then I see you two weeks later and you're like, Jesus. Well, and I'm, I, like, <laughs> well, I'm like, how does he do that? I shaved yesterday, just, just, just so you know. I'm here with Tracy, who has an incredible story, life story. Tell me the, about the book. It will be published March 20th. So like, what, three weeks away? It's crazy. Wow. So what it's about is um, embracing struggles to become stronger, to live happier. Every book that is uh, purchased that day, a dollar is donated to St. Jude's. So that's exciting. And one of my quotes is, everybody struggles, some just do it better. And that's why I call my book Up Struggle. I think for so long, I let my struggles like use me. Like I felt used by them and I let them like, you know, d dictate where I was going, how I was feeling. I was like, what if I started using them? But there's actually like three universal struggles. One is called self, meaning self-inflicted pain caused by our own actions, which nobody wants to admit that, yeah. but that's true. The second one I call others, meaning pain inflicted on us through the actions of others. I think that category, we usually want to put most of our struggles, but I don't think that they belong there. Mm. And if we do think they belong there, then the question becomes, why are we hanging out with people who cause so much pain, right? Yeah. And that yeah. goes back into now self. And then the third one I call life, which just means pain inflicted on us at no one's fault like my cancer, mm. like Hurricane Harvey, you know? There's just certain things we have no control over. It didn't matter what decisions we made. I couldn't, I didn't cause myself to get cancer. I think a lot of people go to the gym um, thinking that they want a six pack, you know? Thinking that they, I'm just here because I want to look good. Nobody goes to the gym to look good. It's just, it's, it's such a surface, um, it's not wrong or bad to have a six pack or to work for it, but it's just not why people work out. If we go deeper, usually, you know, if we dive into people's history and their upbringing, let's say somebody was bullied, right, as a kid. Mm. And so now they want all this muscle because they want to feel good about themselves. They don't ever want to feel like they can be picked on. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I just think it goes deeper than a six pack and so you know me that's how I that's how I coach in my classes I don't talk about let's do this for the six pack let's do this for the muscle not bad but I lead with more like the mental and the emotional aspect yeah. um, because for me wanting and building a six pack just is not gonna get me out of bed smile like look up and smile at somebody and you know I've said this multiple times is it's like you say that we have, the, to, the class. we have to pay for membership there's things that we women pay for I won't talk about it whether it's the blow talks or whatever you got to pay for it right but the one thing that is totally free is being kind and makes you beautiful and, and smile oh my gosh like you could just be an you know, average looking person, but you are so kind. It's like, oh my gosh, they're yeah. so drop dead gorgeous. Are, you could have a beautiful person who has an ugly personality. And you're like, oh, yeah. you just became ugly to me. There are studies that, that show that oh, it is. people that smile uh, are considered you know, more beautiful yeah, than people yeah, who don't. Even yeah. if physically the other person who doesn't smile Out, looks good. Automatically, a person that, smile, that smiles, it's likable. You know. No, there are studies that people like get job promotions. The people who smile and are kind usually get the job promotion yeah. like over the person who doesn't. People are perceived to be uh, more beautiful that, that, that yeah. are smile or kind. So there's, it's not just, yeah, an opinion. There's like science to but back what if, it up. What if you're missing one, one, one teeth? You got a great personality. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> you know, I've had braces twice. You did? Yes. You, did, you didn't use your retainer? No. Oh, this girl. <laughs> <laughs> if we knew everybody's story, mm. like truly knew their story, there yeah. isn't one person we wouldn't love. That's true. As an instructor, as a fitness instructor, mm -hmm. I bet that you have seen weird things inside the studio or people doing strange things I've or... I've seen like people's form like really funky. <laughs> like I'm just like... Like, like, what are you doing? And like, you know me, like if I'm repeating myself, like over and over, like put your hips back, yep, put your hips, like you're just like, Tracy, we get it, you get it, <laughs> but somebody over in the left side corner is not getting it. <laughs> the music, the, the fitness music, I just, it's just, 
It's just. It's got some good like dun, dun, beats. Dun, 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 everything. So, Why? <laughs> Why? Because so if I played classical music though, what would you yeah, do? Yeah, no, no, no. I You'd get like, it. I get it. I get so it. it has to have that hard beats to get you motivated and get you going. No, but, but I, I write better. Oh yeah, but I'm. I feel like I'm a better writer than I am speaker. You are a great writer. I'm a, even, I'm a even, great writer. You You're are. Right I am. You are. But sometimes when it comes to speaking, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and I, Just read the book. Just read the book. <laughs> Tracy, thank you so much for your time. I enjoy I had a, I had a blast. And thank you so much for inspiring so many people with your story and now your book and, you know, all the things that you do. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. It's fun spending time with you. Driving around, talking about stuff, getting deep. <laughs> and next time, we're going to do this interview in Spanish. Oh. See. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> sí. So when are you going to post it? I'm so excited I'm gonna to see it. I'm going to work on that today. Oh, yeah.